Whoa, buddy, why it designed so good? I know that you have asked yourself that question many times. I understand it. I get it. I've asked myself. I've pondered it. So today, let's talk about some of the best gaming designs for villains in gaming design. For villains. Be a cool guy, not a hater. I'm going to go to Godric the Grafted. I am only going to include one entry from a lot of these big franchises because then they'd get some big wins. They'd get some big dubs. So yeah, Godric the Grafted, pretty dang cool. The whole thing is with grafting. And no, not graphing, okay? He's not a mathematician. Godric the Grafted, what makes him so cool is he is the first boss in Elden Ring where you're like, holy crap. That's pretty insane. The first guy, his name's like Margo or something like that. He's cool. He's fine. He's like a nice starter boss. But then you get to Godric the Grafted. He's got a dragon on him. He's got all these arms sticking out of him. Give this guy a hand. It's a pun. It's an Elden Ring pun. Really cool design, and I like how it's incorporated into the fight itself. There are a ton of other really cool designed villains in this game, but for this guy being early on, this guy being so practical, so memorable, I gotta give it to him. After that, I'm going to Big Daddy. It might sound a little sus in it, but no, from Bioshock. Big Daddy from Bioshock, epic character, such an epic character, and the design, that's like half the reason that we remember it so well. You could say that yes, Big Daddy's not a villain, uh, shut up. Yeah, he is. Sometimes, kind of. Depending if you're aggro, then yeah, he's a villain. Shut up. He just fits the aquatic theme so well. And then as you learn more about the lore of the character, he's like this deformed human underneath the thing, plus the scuba suit, plus he's got a drill, and then he's got a crossbow, and then he's drilling freaking slicers in the butt. No, not that. Epic villain, epic character, epic design. And then I'm going to Thor from God of War Ragnarok. I know what you're thinking. There's nothing too special about him. He's just a big guy with a big belly and a big hammer. And correct, that is true. But what I like about this design is how effortlessly it fuses kind of like mythic Thor with like modern Thor and the God of War universe. It's a great cultural reset for how the world sees Thor. No, he's not Chris Hemsworth. He's a big guy. He's a big bodybuilder guy. And that makes sense. He is intimidating. He's like way taller than Kratos. Guys like at least like seven feet tall, eight feet tall. It's freaking crazy. Throw in the hammer, the beard, the voice, everything about this guy slaps, goes crazy. And then from there, I have Titan Lost from Vinyl Fantasy. Again, again, I feel like it is the same franchise as you kind of took all these characters from. Final Fantasy, there are a lot of epic villains, super cool, awesome villains. But this is the most recent one I've played, so it's the one that I'm thinking of the most. Titan Lost as a character just keeps on giving. I love a boss fight with phases. Ah, a good phase, ooh, it hits like a, hits like a nice a snow cone in the Mojave Desert. That's how good it is. So massive, the scale of this thing is crazy, but it's not just big. I thought about going to Kronos for a second from God of War, but I'm like, he's just big. Right? Yeah, he's got the little castle. He's just big. At the end of the day, he's just big. Titan Lost, yes, he's big. Yes, he's massive. But there's so much more to him. The design itself, all of these different moving parts, that is super cool. It makes for a super memorable fight, a super memorable character, and a super memorable villain. Last but not least, I'm going with a classic. Hear me out, okay? Because when I say this character, you're going to be like, huh? What? Who? How? Who? Where? Who? Why? What? Where? Why? Huh? propositions bowser here's the thing here's the thing i said listen to me i said i don't click off i said listen to me i said uh, check this out bowser as a character the design is cool but what i like about bowser and this might be cheating because i'm incorporating a bunch of different games but the different variables of bowser it's just like mario but the variants of bowser are always better like let's be honest i'm talking about cat bowser big bowser big shadow demon bowser from bowser's fury that's like S tier design, you can't get better than that. So many different interesting versions of Bowser that somehow are still innovative after all of this time. That is one of the best parts about every Mario game is seeing the different evolutions of Bowser and how it plays into the different power-ups that Mario's getting throughout the game. Epic version, epic design, that's my video. Thanks so much for watching, new videos every day. Hit subscribe, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I'd really appreciate it, thank you, bye.